Hi there, this is Cynthia Maynard, and I hope you're doing well today. I had a fun found, find, rather, um, probably about six months ago, a Tuesday morning, but I know different companies make these, and they are these interlocking um, alphabet uh, characters, so they're like typewriter sort of a font. Um, I have a set of capitals and a set of lowercase, and so here's an example they're these rubber bottoms, and um, they have locking mechanisms on top and on the sides. And so they're meant to, for example, here's the word mom, and in this case I used a capital M-O-M. -M. And um, as you can see, they have holes on one side, and on the left are these little uh, rectangular pegs. And so they just simply snap together, so that when you're stamping, you can do it all in one go. Um, so these are handy for, for when you don't have a sentiment that quite says what you need it to say or somebody's name if you want to make it personalized. But I thought what would be fun is to kind of mimic what's popular right now is sort of that black paper with the white typewriter print and then it's kind of cut out like collage style. And so I was going to do that today. Um, of course, I, I have them right now on a tray because I'm not organized right now. And, uh, you know, I sort of fish through, and sometimes you have to borrow letters to spell things. This is, I had faith on the end of that, but, and I did that one in all caps. So you can mix and match however you want to do it. Um, I have some black cardstock here, my handy dandy uh, Lawn Fawn Yeti ink. Um, I like it, it really is opaque and sticks out well on dark backgrounds. And um, so, for example, Mom. Okay, and what's nice is they have the print here, so you can see as you're stamping exactly where you are putting it. So you just ink it up, and stamp. And there you go. And then, with your scissors, oops, or you could use dies or whatever you want to do, but if you want to get that sort of hand, hand draw, uh, you know, pieced together collage look. Um, doing it by hand might fit the bill there. And you just trim it up and then you've got mom and then you can stick that wherever you need to stick that or in a sentence or what have you. Um, um, the soul. Um, just to give you an idea of two of them next to each other. So we've got the soul. Now different different companies make these. Um, these are the ones that I happen to have, but I've seen them at Joann's. I've seen them uh, different places, and uh, you can certainly get you don't have to get this brand, but um, that is the brand that I happen to have. They cost about regular retail. I've noticed like on Amazon or so forth, about fourteen ninety nine for the stack. You can also get a, a set of numbers and a set of punctuation. So, um, let me cut that out here. So as you're making, my tea didn't do very well there. Um, you know, as you're on a, working on a card, go ahead and like piece them together like this. And what's nice about it is you can do however, you can kind of, you know, pretend this made sense as a sentence. <laughs> we don't say mom the soul, but uh, let's say unlock or something, unlock the soul. Um, then you can kind of glue them down in a sort of, you know, stacked way type of deal like that. Um, you know, you can do different things. You can put them where you need to put them, and it's almost like playing with a puzzle piece. And um, I believe they give you two of each letter. Because so you have multiple letters to work with, which is nice, because obviously the English language is made up of lots of words that require multiple letters. Um, they clean up really easily. Um, they lock together. I like them. If you press really hard, then they get a little shaky and start to come apart. So don't, you know, you don't need to press super hard. Um, but they're super easy if you, you know, just whatever you can think of. Hope, you know, um, faith, um, grandma, <laughs> um, you know, if you have a word, a whatever. So you can spell in foreign languages if you don't have a foreign language um, uh, stamp set 
and um, you're not comfortable doing lettering yourself, and let's say you have a friend who is um, French, and you want to, and you're American, and you know you want to, you want to say thank you to them. You can put merci um, and spell that out using these. So to me, I I think it's a good investment. Um, then you don't feel like you have to buy every single sentiment stamp set there is in the world because you've got options here. And especially with the numbers, you know, with birthdays and things like that. I don't have the numbers and punctuation yet. Oh, I've seen it many times at Tuesday morning. And if you see it, grab it. Because I just feel like it's the cost of several stamp sets with the ability. And it's very much in style right now with this typeset. Um... Uh, lettering here and I think that you'll find it you can do some really cool uh, thi <laughs> things with that don't spell mom don't spell mom the soul but um, you know you you'll find that you'll use them and um, you don't have to do this application with them you can certainly do them in whatever ink you want on whatever paper I also wanted to show you a card I had done I used the set to spell out blissful and I stamped it in Versamark ink and embossed it just like I would anything else. And so I have this neat teal, um, teal blue sort of um, embossing with it, with that font. So, so it, you know, it, it's the font is what it is. And so it's that typewriter look. Um, but I think it's cool. And, uh, you know, it's not the only one I'd ever want to use. But I find that, again, it's super, super multi-purpose. Um ability there is going to get your, your money back in the, the amount of time that you could use it. And uh, I like that against the orange that looks, <laughs> you know, and you can stack and you can punch out with better shapes than just cutting it. There's lots of things you can do. But I wanted to share that with you in case you saw that at your Tuesday morning or anywhere else, Joanne's or Michael's, and you see that stamp or on Amazon and you think, oh, do I really want to get that? Some of the reviews have been negative on it. But um, I just want to share with you that I I think that they work really well. And maybe people got a bump batch. I don't know. Um, but mine work really well. And I feel like I like having that flexibility. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to give you that quick sort of review and tip. Uh, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thank you so much and have fun making art.